that's what's just happened because Pakistani batsmen committing suicide, I would say. Imran Farahat, Nawumar Akmal. What teams do is when it's not going well, is to try and dig deep and think of these good moments they've had. That's how you build your belief. There's plenty for Sri Lanka to draw in in this form of the game. Absolutely. 50 up now for uh, Pakistan. So the spinners. Interesting graphic here. Leading wicket takers in T20 internationals. All top, the top five all on view here today. Alan, they turned up in their numbers. Pakistan have had tremendous support. Oh, this is big. Now, this is what Misbah could do. Ramis, he's done exactly what you think he could. Well, this is what is required. Just lift the tempo, lift the gloom, and uh, lift the spirits of the crowds. This really was uh, beautifully struck. Taken to the newcomer, Pereira, putting, putting him in a way over mid wicket quite easily. This was a massive blow. Just the right kind of tonic that Pakistan need to uh, kick it on. Oh, played fine. Very well played. He read it. And he's just got it down to third man for four. Great shot by Shafiq. Used the pace of the ball. And uh, great piece of improvisation. That is why this game is so good, because there's uh, a sense of unpredictability. And again, oh, it's bowled him, it's bowled him, he played on. A slow delivery. And uh, Shafiq has been castled by Lasit Malinga. And it's Sri Lankan turn now to rejoice in the aisles. What a good blow. Thank you, Roche. Yeah, it sure is. And uh, unlucky, well, it is for some, dragged off the back of the blade. The bale shook for a bit and then dropped. Incredible. Here comes Dilhara. And there goes the whip of Misbah. And he split the two men there. Starts the over with a boundary. 100 is up now for Pakistan. Fernando should not worry about it. He took his chance, it worked for him. Just went across, used his pace, but Dilara's only mistake was that he gave him length. A lovely stroke. Goes through the offside, carves it through cover and gets a boundary. Consecutive and suddenly the game takes a new twist. And the two experienced pros out there come together and say, come on. Unbelievable shot, unbelievable power behind it. He went leg side the ball before this time. Premeditated goes through the offside. Plenty of width. Miss Balha. This is what you know. This is what Pakistanis knew of him before. Stick to his skill. And he can't get another single. It's goal. It's going to be tight. They're going to go upstairs. They have to. They take an overthrow. And Ampire Hayder asks for the replay. I think Dilshan's done it again. He knew he had to go for the kill because this wicket is very important. No run there at all. And he doesn't slide his bat in. It's in the air. Very close, Danny. I think just in the frame there where the bail has to be up in the air and there. Upstairs. Umpire Raza has said, not out, much to the delight of this crowd. Well, he's conceded one run, but he had to go for that. These are chances you need to take at this stage. Misper, the last ball of the 17. And it's a low full toss, and it races away for a boundary. Great over for the home side, 14 from it, it's 1-13 for four.
down to little sectors and you'll see which over will matter here or which ball only we've got two more you have to stay away from that boundary ball it's on the pads here we go change of pace and guess what it's out of here yeah it's gone all the way what a great start to this over for pakistan six off the first one yeah and it's him boom boom the length was perfect i feel he was going all the while because it's this over that will decide it in the last over it was all quicker ones miss ball hat used the pace important Bilharo Fernando needs to forget what happened in the last over and forget this ball. Take a deep breath. One good delivery. That's all he needs to produce. This time Fernando got away with it because it was bowled away from him outside off stump. It's very noisy. Another slow one and guess what? This one's got an air hostess on it. Oh, it's a beauty. That is a big six here in Abu Dhabi. Oh, they're rejoicing and loving it on a Friday night. Ball much greater to him, much closer in his arc. Both sixers in that same line. Dilharo Fernando getting that line wrong. He's got to do what the Pakistanis did. And that too. Tries the Yorker. Gets it over the top. It's racing out of the fence. And some good work in the deep. Beauty of this format. Gone, there's the edge. That's what they needed so desperately did Sri Lanka. Afridi, that wonderful little cameo has come to an end. Faint edge shooter Sangakara, and he's out for 22. Look at the crowd. It's stunned silence from them, but not from the Sri Lankan supporters. Loving it. Last ball of the over is a wicket. He's gone for 22. It's 133 for five. Hang on. Oh, he couldn't get it in the hole where he wanted to. He wanted it right on off stump. Captain comes back. Good running. Oh, no, there's... This will be six. The overthrow. Oh, and it's gone to the rope. The drama just keeps unfolding here the big overthrow and it means that will be a six and the captain is still on strike what a contribution from Shoaib Malik there should never have been two but he was coming down the, all the while a wild throw from Angelo Matthews well, for me he just overran it a bit, Sangakar. He ran up so quickly. Could have stayed the line behind the stumps. Just one of those little basics. Oh, it's a beauty. That's an outside edge. They're coming back for two, and that'll be it. And there's a misfield, and there goes Mispa. Malinga couldn't believe it. He believed he hit him on the pad, but it's been given runs. That's the game. Miss Baul Haq once again guiding Pakistan home. Yeah, big hugs for the captain. A sterling job from him. 48 from 38 for Miss Baul Haq. Three boundaries and two sixes, striking at 126. Marvellous captain's knock. Handshakes for the skipper of Pakistan with the opposition. But heartbreak there for Sri Lanka, getting so close once again and not going on and nailing it. Huge crowd in here in Abu Dhabi on a Friday evening and uh, they're delighted. They got a little bit nervy when they were chasing it at 10 and a half and over with uh, about five overs to go. But uh, some wonderful striking from Shah Afridi and Misbah al -Hak has seen them home quite comfortably in the end with half an over to spare. Hafiz and Fahad, well they got starts, couldn't go on, and Shafiq 
Nice little 33 from 33. Akmal got a bit too cute, was out first ball to Dilshan. And then uh, Mispa and Afridi, well, that was the show that stole it for Pakistan. And then Malik, just at the end there, show of Malik that is, just got a nice little outside edge, the third man, and finished proceedings to get to 142 for five and 19 and a half overs. Malinga, one for 32. And Pereira, one for 26, the opening bowlers. Fernando looked good in that first opening stanza there. His first couple of overs only cost eight, then he disappeared, thanks to Afridi. Mendes, fairly useful in his comeback game. He got a wicket, and Dilshan, of course, got one. Pereira, three overs for 20 there, but just a little too expensive at the death, which uh, often happens, of course, in T20 cricket. Sri Lanka, bowled out in 19 and a half overs for 141. Chima, the standout, with four for 30. Goal bowled beautifully, too. Two for 16. And then in 19 and a half overs as well, that's what it took Pakistan to get to 142.